However, the second node doesn't know that. The second node lives inside a Rec 709 project. So it assumes that all of the footage is going to be receiving is Rec 709. And this even works with lookup tables. Hi, I am Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. Did you know that there is more to the color space transform effect than simply adding it to a node? Let's not waste time. I'll start by demonstrating the problem. I have this footage here that was shot using Canon Log. Let's convert it to Arri Alexa, for example. So I'll open the effects panel, drag the color transform effect to the node, and the first two parameter asks us for the color space and gamma that were used to film our footage. So Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon Log 3. Notice that the footage now seems like it was corrected. So this is before and this is after. That's because the color transform effect just converted the footage we have into uh, the same uh, gamma and color space of the project, which are simply Rec. 709. So the output color space and the output gamma are simply Rec. 709 because the Resolve project was set to Rec. 709. However, I want to convert this footage to Ari Alexa. I can simply do that by selecting Ari in the next two dropdowns. So the output color space and the output gamma. So for output color space, I'll select Ari Alexa and for output gamma, I select Arilog C. And take a look at the footage now, before, after. All what happened now is that uh, we converted the footage from uh, uh, Canon to Ari. Now I'll add another node here and add contrast. So I'll simply go to color, nodes, add the serial node, and in the new node, I'll simply increase the contrast. At this point, you always feel like, like something is wrong with the image at this point. It just doesn't look right. Speaking of Resolve, if you're a beginner and you're interested in learning how to use Resolve, you'll love our free crash course that will teach you the basics of every tab in Resolve. Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. Let me expand the nodes area a bit and explain something. The first node converted the image it received to Arilog C, which simply means that this node will send Arilog C footage into the node after it. So the first node sends the second node Arri log footage. However, the second node doesn't know that. The second node lives inside a Rec. 709 project. So it assumes that all of the footage is going to be receiving is Rec. 709. So to clarify, this node thinks that all the footage it receives from anywhere is always Rec. 709, which is not the case now because this node just sent it Ari footage. So we need to tell the second node that, listen, the footage you're going to be receiving now is actually Ari footage and not Rec. 709. How do we do that? It's pretty simple. We right click. So I can simply right click on this node, go to color space, and here select Ari Alexa. Again, go to color space, go to gamma, and select Ari Log C. And at this point, all of our controls should work as expected. For example, I'll add a new version now, go to the first one, right click, undo the changes, so use timeline. So now we have no controls here on color, space, and gamma. So now we have two versions of the same shot. This one, version 2, is mapped properly where this node understands that it's receiving ARRI footage. And if we switch to the first version, it doesn't know that. And they both have the same exact contrast controls. And notice the difference in look between the first one, which is not mapped correctly, and the second one. If I add more contrast in the second one, or control the pivot, and change the colors, all the changes are mapped correctly to Ari. However, if we go to the first one and add contrast, notice that especially the dark areas of the image do not look very natural. That's because the node is not mapped correctly to the input it's receiving. And this even works with lookup tables. So in Resolve, if you open the LUTs panel, there's a special category here for ARRI, and it has only one LUT, which basically converts ARRI log C to Rec. 709. So I'll add a new node, and in this new node, I will simply drag the ARRI LUT on top of this node. And the image looks better. Take a look at the image before the node and after it. It looks way more natural. However, keep an eye on the image here while I right click on the node itself, go to color space, tell it that it should expect Ari Alexa, right click, go to gamma, and tell it to expect Ari Lock C. Before these two changes, the LUT was not mapped correctly and the image looked a bit weird. So again, I'll add a new version and the previous version, I'll simply right click on the node 
and just tell it to not expect ARRI footage, it will just expect Rec 709, use timeline, and use timeline. Great. So, note now that we have the same LUT added with the same exact settings, two different times and two different versions. Once uh, the node is not expecting ARRI footage, it's simply expecting Rec 709. And the other one, in the next version, the node is actually expecting uh, ARRI uh, log C footage. And now keep an eye on the image while I switch between these two versions. Notice how version 3, so the one that is mapped correctly, is actually better and the gamma transition is way more subtle and the colors look slightly better. So whenever you use the um, color space transform effect, make sure that the nodes that come after that node understands the new color space that you're using by simply right clicking on the node and selecting the correct color space in gamma. So for example, if um, in the color space transform you used uh, red, for example, some sort of a red log format, uh, make sure to map the uh, nodes that come after that into the correct uh, format from red so that all the controls will work as expected. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, uh, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com